hey diy friends welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you guys how to make a really cute and simple sign using one of these dollar tree frames but the most important part of my video is i want to show you how you can change the color of any vinyl to go with any type of decor i've had this in my stash for about two years because i don't know what i'm going to use this green or this pink for so i came across a really easy quick way to go right ahead and change the color on the actual vinyl to be whatever color you want so this is a frame i'm going to be using for a wall decor a wall decor for my new gallery wall that i have above in my living room and i only want the frame because it fits the actual area i want to use so a good trick is if you're going to be doing any kind of um wall decor to use the back of the paper that you already are going to be having inside of your frame because it's white it's really glossy it's a high quality paper and so all you have to do is just put your actual design on the front I have already went ahead and used my Silhouette Cameo to cut out the actual um, wording I wanted to use for my sign. So I'm going to take this off and then I'm going to proceed with showing you guys how to go right ahead and change the color from this hot pink to what I want is an actual grayish color. But the trick is, first thing you need to do is make sure that you are only going to have what you need as far as no extra material because you know with vinyl it is not really cheap so you want to keep whatever vinyl that you can use again by cutting it off so that you're not going to potentially waste it so I have a this is us our life our story our home sign that I'm going to be using and one way is that you can use acrylic paint and I am going to be using this on the wall so I'm not going to be touching this no one is touching it so um, this is why this one method that I'm going to be showing you today would be a great great option so this is the Dollar Tree acrylic paint that I have and like I stated I want an actual grayish kind of color so I'm going to be mixing these two up to start the process so step one, I have my paint over here already colored to the gray that I want it to be. I will be using some of these cosmetic wedges to apply the paint onto the vinyl. And one thing you want to do, just like if your vinyl is similar to mine right now where it's curling as that sometimes happens, you just want to get some painter tape to secure it to whatever you're going to paint it to so that it will not curl while you're painting it. making sure not to cover your design with the painter's tape. Now it's time to start painting. Making sure to cover the whole area of where your design is. You may have to do more than one coat, but getting your actual design covered is the first step. All right, so now I'm going to apply my second coat of paint. And now this time you can go right ahead and smear it across because you already have that first layer down, which makes everything blend so much better. This is the perfect time to make sure every area of the words you want to be using for your sign is indeed covered. Then hit it with the actual um, heat gun or blow dryer once again. Okay, so now my paint is surface touch dry, meaning when I touch it, nothing comes off, but I do see in some areas where it is still wet, but that's okay. So now what you want to do is you want to go right ahead and take off all of the excess vinyl so you can actually get your words. You may be wondering, well, how can I do that? Because the paint is now on there and all the words lines are now covered. Well, when I make my signs, I actually put a little border around my vinyl so that I can easily tear it off. With All 
right, so I took off all of the vinyl, but as you can see, some places are still actually pink. So I didn't even do a good job of actually getting all of the pink covered. So I'm just going to take my sponge while it's still wet and apply some of it on the actual sun in the areas that are still pink. Quickly dry it with my heat gun. Go over it again so I can get it dark because you just want to get it actually wet and um, covered so you can dry it and apply another coat. You don't need to make a whole nother batch. You can just use your sponge. It's wet enough. It has enough product on there to just cover the areas that you find that have not been 100% covered. Again, I am using the actual back side of the picture it originally came with because this is some good paper. Alright, now I'm going to save this for another project. And there we have it.